quick video here for you guys. Um, you saw in the last video um, the death of the run cam. Um, after doing further inspection, and it's not going to show up in the video well, but the little sensor that's inside there, let me see if I can turn that a little bit. The little sensor that's inside there, um, I think that's what smashed, creating obviously a blurry image because uh, that's what sends the image through the lens. <laughs> It did me good. I'm not faulting this thing at all. It was a pretty uh, hefty crash, but whatever. But uh, the new one came in. There's the new little guy right there, and it does have a different lens on it. We'll see how I like it. Um, I took the lens off that one, so if I wanted to reuse it. Um, real basic wiring. This plugs in to the back of the camera, and um, you have your white cable. Let's see if I can hold this up here. You have the white plug here. That will go for your OSD, and I'll have to find a simple port somewhere down in the bottom half that I'll be able to access it easy and then um, I actually researched real quick because this is my first time doing it the blue wire just a quick tag on the positive there and that's it so then you wire it up I'm gonna use the existing mount I know now that they have a 3d printed stronger mount but until mine breaks I have the factory one that I shaved um, this one uses allen keys I believe the other one was Phillips these look like they're they'll hold up a little bit better they're a little bit thicker it seems like but um I'm going to wire this up, put it back in, and I don't remember if I showed in the last video. There's the VTX-02, the 200 milliwatt, very, very smoothly shaped inside of the cowl there. I am super stoked with the install I did on that. But um, let me put this thing back together, and uh, let's see how it does. I have the finished product. Peace out. Nothing caught on fire. <laughs> um, I haven't test flown it yet. I'm just waiting for the rain to pass, but I wanted to show you guys. Um, I've been doing some reviews before I flew, depending on which lens I want to use, the one off the old one, the 2.1, or this 2.3. This does give a little bit more room if I wanted a steeper angle um, without hitting the cowl. But I am very pleased. Um, you see the little rubber band there? That's holding the cable, so if I want to get into the settings, it has a little cable to go in, which I did. I found pretty cool. So you can adjust your voltage and stuff because this guy doesn't have a beeper. So I'll be conscious it has a timer. So the flight time will be there. So that's a big save for me for that. Um, I think I showed in the last video. You can't see the power wire down in there. No. Nope. Just tag the power wire with that guy and you're good to go. And I wasn't expecting today. These showed up late. They must have been uh, missed. These are the Gemfan 1940s, I believe. Um, these were picked out for the fly egg, so I will try them on that and obviously this guy So we'll see how they do um, on the crash on this. I ended up mutilating the uh, two inch gem fans I was very disappointed um, I don't hold that against the structure or the integrity of the prop because it was just a disgusting hit and then with it semi crooked flicking on the uh, motors, so they were just smacking the ground No big deal. I love the props um, I have not tried these green guys, the King Kong 1935 five blades on here, but with the uh, camera test, I'm going to try it out. Um, so let's see how it does, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next flight. And also, huge shout out. Um, our community is growing between the network of people I'm friends with here and online, and I want to throw you guys another bone. Um, if you're a big FPV and you guy like me and you live it, you breathe it, you talk it, um, there's another guy out there, JJ Rota Geek. If you are not following him, I highly suggest following him. Um, he put out a video the other day of how to change the sound on your ESCs to the Imperial March, which I thought was super cool. So I did that to the Fly Egg, no problem. Um, I tried to do this guy, and I was unfamiliar with all the different settings and uh, the ESC, which one to pick, and all the numbers. It was very foreign. Um, I reached out to him. I talked a little bit through YouTube. And then I send them some stuff through Gmail. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just a little overwhelmed. Would you mind giving me a call? And sure as shit, he gave me a call. He walked me through the damn thing. And I got this bird to uh, arm again and fly. So uh, huge shout out to him. He's one of the best out on YouTube. Um, I wouldn't call it customer service. But um, his friendliness and willing to help out was just epic. So he is now part of our uh, explicit family. And um, I look forward to more videos from So again, if you're looking for another video to get information, tech talk, and help, JJ Rota Geek on YouTube. So uh, let me finish charging up this battery, grab some lunch, and we'll see you guys on the flight. Peace out.